Hey there, Leo. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of July 11th. Uh, this week looks like a good week here, as, you know, I think things have been getting better for Leos in general. And as I have said to Leo, because I, I do think it's a very important message for you Leos out there, that if things are not getting better, um, you know, the answer is very simple for you. And it's the same this week as well. You have another nine here. I think if things are not improving in any area of your life, wherever you need improvements, uh, I, you know, I think the key for you is to do what is new and, and probably a little bit scary. I think there's a little bit of fear attached. I think there's a, if there's like a fear of you maybe taking a new position, taking a new job or dating a new person or, or, or new type of person or whatever. I think there's a little fear there. Uh, that's probably exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So again, if things are not improving, do what scares you. I think that's it, it's a pretty clear message, so um, I think that's important for you. But you have the Four of Spades. I think you had this card last week. Um, you know, it's a classic Leo card, I would say. You know, Leos love to be nurtured, love to be cared for, and things like that. And th this is a card of just building more comfort in your life, wanting more comfort, wanting to be more comfortable, and, and trying to create that. It's also a card of uh, recovery. It, it does suggest that things are getting better, again. So, you know, I, I think it's a really nice card of things kind of recovering in your life, coming to some new conclusions. Maybe even mentally, maybe even mentally, you're getting a little bit of a mental break this week, which I like to see because you have the nine of clubs and you also end with the 10 of clubs. This kind of puts you in your element, the, the fire element. And, uh, but it, I think it also mentally gives you this, uh, this break and, and you have the three of clubs as well, which again, mentally, I think uh, just is just a nice, break in, in a lot of ways. But the Nine of Clubs is a very good card. It's a card of new things happening for you, uh, new energies, uh, newness in a lot of ways. It's even a card of travel. I think a lot of Leos are probably going to be traveling this month or next month, maybe even both, and probably again later in the fall. I know that sounds weird, but it looks like there's a little bit of gap in the middle between now and then, and then you, maybe some of you are traveling again. This is even a card of moving. A lot of you could be moving in this card represents also uh, achievements. A lot of you could be achieving new things, standing out, receiving new recognition, and uh, standing out in new ways. So I like to see that. Next, you have the Five of Spades. Five of Spades is a uh, <clears throat> definitely a card of, um, you know, let's see here, needing to take more risk. Again, uh, I think, you know, I said that in a lot of ways, I think if things aren't improving for you, Leos, you need to do what scares you. So again, this is a card of taking risks, doing what scares you. It's also a card of watching your health, making sure you stay healthy. Um, and possibly some of you may um, be undergoing some sort of health-related uh, procedures and things like that. So, um, you know, this card can just, it, that's just simply what it represents. Some of you might be going through some sort of health procedure or planning it out, and uh, that's pretty much it. But, um, yeah, I mean, this isn't necessarily a bad or a good card. It's kind of like one of those neutral cards. Next, you have the Four of Hearts. Um, really good card of new things happening for you. Again, you have the Nine, you have this, new. The, these these cards scream new to me, so definitely do what is new. This is a good card as well. I mean, it's a card of commitment. It's even a good card for love, so any of you that are looking for love, you could be meeting somebody who you could end up very committed to. Uh, if you're not interested in love, this card is also a great socializing card, like socializing around the home having parties around the home, and things like that. It's a good card for that. Next, you have the Three of Clubs. Uh, I really like the Three of Clubs. Represents second chances, getting a second chance at something, and even starting something over again. Sometimes this card can even represent, like, maybe you missed a chance. Like, maybe you feel like you missed out on something, and now it's, like, coming back around, and you're getting another chance to to really take a second look maybe at something that you missed the first time and uh, now you can really do it right this time. So again, I, I think sometimes this card is like a little bit of a gift from the universe. It's saying like, you know, what? okay, we, we presented you with an opportunity once and you really didn't take it, which trust me, the universe wants us to grab opportunities even if they scare us. But the card is also saying, you know what? It's okay that you missed it. Um, because this time we're going to present it again, but you have to take advantage of it. So make sure to do that. And then finally, you have the Ten of Clubs. Again, really good card. It's a card of good fortune, good things happening to you. Even a good card for learning. A lot of you could be learning new things, even hobby-based things. Like, you know, sometimes people comment and are like, oh, does that mean school? I can't afford to go back to school or all these other things. No, this card just represents learning in general. It could be reading a book 
watching YouTube videos. Um, you know, you, you could practically take college, you know, take college courses on YouTube. There is plenty that you can learn here just on YouTube alone. Um, but some of you, this card also represents like hobbies. So some of you could be picking up new hobbies that you're learning about and things like that. But this card's considered uh, also a very positive new beginning card, good for starting new things and beginning new things in general. So you know, that is a really good card to kind of cap your week off there with. Um, so thank you for watching and enjoy the week.